Hello and welcome. Today, back at the University of Tasmania. Well, I can understand why the players don't like to travel, but it is great to be back in Launceston. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. What a game we have here today, Dan. There's been quite a build-up for this one. Here come the Giants. It's the sound of the mighty Giants. You feel the ground is shaking. The other teams are quaking in their boots before the Giants. We take the longest strides and the highest leap. The stronger than... So join in the chorus and sing it one and all. Umpire tosses the coin. The Kangaroos winning the toss. Both these teams coming off losses. Just waiting for the opening siren now. The players launch into the first turn. My thoughts before a big game were usually pretty simple. I'd tell myself to stick to your game and you'll win. Choose to kick it. Great mark. Long sends the ball on its way. Booted by McDonald. Roback with the mark. He kicks quickly. A nice running mark. Kicked by Davy Zuniaki. A solid mark from Coniglio. Coniglio sends one up towards the wing. Choose to kick it. A mark by Pains. Kicks the skin off it. Nice mark there. Lob. He's an intelligent footballer and I love watching him. He is great at dragging his opponent over to a one-on-one -on -one and creating ineffective two-on-one -on -one situations. That's a great goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. Tapped by Glob. The ball in the hands of Thompson. He gains possession. I reckon my mum could have caught that in a penny. Chilt looking like a Manchester United player. He gets his hands on the footy. Hits the running man. He smashes and bashes it. What was he thinking? Jacobs holds the ball and that'll be a free kick for Team. A stab kick from Team. Williams takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. It's a mark. Payne scoots it. It's a mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Patton. Bumps the pigskin. Takes it well. He kicks quickly. Strong mark by Tomlinson. Kicks. Great mark over the pad. Gets boot to leather. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Cunnington marks. Cunnington can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Pruis kicks the ball. That's a mark. He gets boot to the ball. Haynes with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Marks. Booted by Clark. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Pruis boots it. He gets it under pressure. Haynes sends one up towards the wing. Takes that one strongly. A rushed kick taken by Shaw. Kicks it. Ward looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Choose to kick it. Wins the hardball. Right. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Poor gets the footy. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Long gets onto the ball. McMillan throws it. Clear as day. Going for goal number one. He'll be happy with that. Green sinking his first goal. The Giants by two goals. Green has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. Guided by Bruce. Roback with the football. Takes possession. 
long. Pushes in the back like an old lady poking her umbrella at a wasp's nest. Wins the handball. The lady oaks got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He boots it. A good contested mark there. Puts boot to ball. It's a mark. Patton with the kick. The lady oak with the mark. Nice drop punt. The contest, no match for him. Ward kicks the ball. He claims the ball. Kicks into the forward line. Buckley claims the ball. 45 metres out. Great mark under pressure. DeBort with a perfect drop punt. Strong mark by Long. Too far out to score, surely. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. The big kick for goal goes straight through. The first goal for Long. The Giants have scored the last two goals. Greater Western Sydney can calm down now and focus on increasing this three-goal lead. Ward just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Nice drop punt. Kennedy claims it. He spears the ball. GWS for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the team? Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Cruis kicks it. It's a mark. Rovat boots it. It's a mark. Bumps the big skin. Long. Got under it. Puts boot to ball. Ward takes it well. A desperate kick there. Nice mark under pressure. Kennedy is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Because Willis grabs the ball on the bounce. He's got a handball away. The ball is tapped. Deledio handballs it. Ward boots it. He wins the contested mark. Green lining up. 35 metres out. A chance to add one more to his tally. Look at that. He's put it through. A second goal in the bag. Greater Western Sydney up by four goals. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Lobb with the tap. Zebel with a short hand pass. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Coniglio gets the interception on the bounce. Goes up the line. Nice hands. Kicks it. A good mark under the circumstances. Kicks it long. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. We'll go to Richo for the stats. The Giants leading the kicking stats by a considerable margin on 45. North Melbourne behind with only 23 and may have a hard time. Here we go again, quarter number two. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Claimed by Glob. Cunnington taps, takes control of the bouncing ball. Short with the running catch. Sends it on its way. Nice contested mark by DeBoer. 50 metres out. Going for goal number two. He's rammed that one into the woodwork. The Giants leads by 25. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Kicked by McMillan. Hands like dinner plates. McDonald is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He takes a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Popper with real good use of the body. Tomlinson with great hands. He slams that on the boot. Takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. Great grab. Pruis kicks it. He marks the ball. Hastily kicked. And the mark will be paid. Get some power behind that one. Nice mark there. GWS could be dominant in the air and they're marking everything. The Kangaroos need to stop trying to outmark the Giants and just get a fist into the contest. Lob, praying. Lob gets a huge goal. The Ruckman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. He gains possession, is in his possession. Kicks hurriedly. He picks up the loose ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Handball finds Clark. Tapped by Clark. Heads up the corridor. Nice hands. Cuts towards the middle. Proust marks it. A lovely drop punt. 
He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Takes it well. Straight down the field. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Distance could be the problem. A set shot on a 45-degree angle for Simkin. Tarrant gains possession through the interception. North Melbourne not enjoying this. Shield has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. He kicks and clears the ball out of the 50. Sends it on its way. And the mark will be paid. Well, the Giants have managed to rack up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. Kennedy puts his boot on it. Patton really forced to earn that mark. He kicks the ball. That's a nice, strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. Zeeble wins the contested ball. Choose to kick it. He shouldn't have bothered. He has clearly been shopping at Clangers or Us. He grabs it on the run. He scoops the ball off the ground. Cunnington charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Lobb tackles him to the ground. Ward picks it up. Great leg speed to get away from his opponent then. He kicks the ball. Shaw gets the mark without contest. He kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Gore with good strong hands. Works it across the ground. Over the top of the pack. The Giants could dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Puts boot to ball. Core with good strong hands. Core goes for home. Core has got it. The Giants by six goals. The Ruckman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. He's got the football now. He gets his hands on the footy. Davy Zuniaki takes the mark uncontested. Marks. Send the top in, big fella. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Turner had no chance at that one. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. Haynes taps it. They need a goal to keep that door ajar. He'll be happy with that. This is the footy equivalent of Roper Doug. North Melbourne, they're barely hanging on right now. Umpire bounces the ball. Punch by Cameron. The loose ball scooped up. Cruz just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Thompson with the ball. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Cruz obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. He lays off the pass. Haynes with the kick. Ward marks it. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. He got a hold of that one. DeBoer had no chance at that one. Buckley with the tap. Deft touch from Green. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. The ball in the hands of Cameron. The Giants by six goals. Cameron really wears his heart on his sleeve. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Goldstein hits it. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young Lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Kelly intercepts it. Wood lays it off to the running man. Jacobs gets the tap. Clean pickup by Coniglio. Hands it out to open space. Handballs from the tackle. Nice interception. Buckley It's pretty agile, but he still needs to work on keeping his feet. Consistency is important. He handballs it. Tapped. Hopper onto the ball. Goldstein tackles him to the ground. He grabs the footy. Haynes didn't waste the opportunity. He taps it. Zeeble picks up the ball. Coniglio gains the loose ball. It's in his possession. Cunnington gets the ball. Sending it on its way. Simpkin lines it up. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Great grab. 40 minutes from home. Tarrant going for number one. Chalk up a goal for the Kangaroos. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Good bounce. Goldstein gets onto the ball. Let's see with the stats how both teams performed. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Giants are slightly ahead with 25 to 17. A tight contest out there and the possession count really reflects that with the percentage at 51% to 49. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. This match can be described like seeing your grandmother in fishnets. Unexpected.
players have had a good break, they should be ready to bring this game home. Champions keep playing until they get it right. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato, quickly disposed of by Thompson. Cunnington lays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. Marked by Coniglio. Coniglio sends one up towards the wing, wins the hard ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Marks. GWS could bypassing their forward targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside forward 50. Buckley with the mark. Sending it on its way. McMillan with a strong mark. Clearing it with ease here. McDonald looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Looks like he panicked there. Opportunity now for Buckley. Gets boot to leather. Great mark over the pack. Jams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Delivio taps. Deft touch from Ward. He collects the loose ball. Gathered by Long. Tomlinson gets a nice bump from Bruce. He takes control of the loose ball. McDonald sends the ball on its way. Nice hands. Jacobs is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Bunteen kicks the ball. Haynes takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. Ward with good strong hands. He boots it. Tomlinson just wanted it more then. Puts boot to ball. Nice hands. Patton slams the ball to his boot. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. Taken by Long. Looks like he panicked there. Strong mark. A nice long kick by White. A rowback with the mark. Look, North Melbourne haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He claims the ball. Tarrant lining up with the goals. We're perilously close to having the floodgates open. It's a bad feeling. This goal is vital. North Melbourne have scored the last two goals. They're back in with a chance. Good bounce. One down by Glob. Has it now. Is in his possession. Pruce has the ball. Cunnington with the kick. The contest, no match for him. 45 metres out. Tarrant with a fairly straight shot at goal. Slots it. North Melbourne have scored the last three goals. They're gaining momentum here. And there's the bounce. Punched by Long. Buckley tackles too high on Thompson. A lovely drop punt. He soccers it. Deft touch from Jacobs. Turnick throws the ball. Free kick. Kicked by Hopper. Great grab. Booted by Patton. Strong mark by Ward. Boots it. Wins the hard ball. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Lob. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. De Boer kicks it. He gets the upper hand. Lob kicks for goal. Lob puts it through. Four goals up for the Giants. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Hit by Bruce. A desperate kick there. Patton taps it. Guided down nicely by Delidio. Cunnington slams one on the boot for goal. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce. Goldstein hits it. Controlled by Haynes. Lovely hand pass. Hits the man. Chips it down towards half forward. Great mark. Testing shot outside the 50. Taron claims it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Marked by Haynes. Here's a mighty kick of the footy. Delivio grabs that one. The Giants could dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Kelly kicks the ball. Scully with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Cameron really forced to earn that mark. Sending it on its way. Tomlinson with a strong mark. Kicks it across the ground. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He boots it. Scully with good strong hands. Kicks it. He wins the contest. Tomlinson takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. 
if he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Thompson will get the free. He slams that on the boot. A great mark under pressure. A chance to add one more to his tally. Nice goal from Cool. This lead getting bigger now. The Giants relaxing with a four-goal lead. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Cameron looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Ball up in the centre square. Cameron timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Kelly gets the ball. Vickers Willis, delusions of grandeur. He controls the bouncing ball. These possessions just keep ticking over for Nick Millen. Works it across the ground. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. McMillan with the mark. He steers it out of the defensive 50. Taken by Anderson. Time to take a look at the stats. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contest, 32 to 25. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. Thanks. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Nice drop punt. Clark has it. Bumps the big skin. Mark by Zebel. Low spearing kick. A nice running mark. Kicks. A great effort. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Boots it. A solid mark from Jacobs. 40 minutes from home. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. North Melbourne get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. The Kangaroos are in some real trouble here. Jacobs can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. One down by Bruce. Umpire calls for the ball. Tap by Long. Slams it on the boot. Haynes slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He's heading for home. It's in the air. The big kick for goal goes straight through. That's number two. They'll have to put in a lot of effort, but they could still catch up. North Melbourne could have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. Wood decisively. Kicked in a flurry. Cunnington handballs it. Gathers the ball. Patton. It's not always the guy with the ball out there, but he still goes out there laying tackles. He's chasing and pressuring. It's really his team contribution that makes him a real asset. Puts boot to ball. He gets the upper hand. Zebel with the tap. Hopper picks it up. Good hand skills there. Coniglio gives the ball to the running man. A long kick there. Nice hands. Clears now. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Wins the hard ball. Long on the borderline of his range. He couldn't hang on. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Log taps it. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Wood shoots it. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal! Ominous signs for the Giants. Three goals up now. Ward on his wrong foot isn't his preferred option, but he's still competent enough off that foot. Long taps it. Cunnington handball short. Bruce with his head down, running for home. The long goal by Bruce. The Kangaroos is starting to drop behind. North Melbourne need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. Long with a big fist on it. Squeezes out a handball. Booted by Harper. Shaw takes it well. Shaw. It's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Lob. Goes for goal. Sends it home with a huge kick. The Giants lead. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. Goldstein outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Anderson soccers it. Kicks hurriedly. DeMont taps it. Jacobs kicks. 
Simpkin going for number two. Just fell through. Simpkin gets number two. North Melbourne won't be happy to see that scoreboard. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Goldstein guides it. Anderson has the ball. He has the ball. Coniglio claims it. Low spearing kick. Takes the mark all by himself. Ward with no time to delay with that kick. Cunnington is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice, strong mark. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. Ward slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Cameron puts it on the boot. Well, he gave it a shot. Tapped by Thompson. He kicks quickly. McMillan suckers it. McDonald gets a nice bump from Tomlinson. Crawl with a great kick. He's giving it all he's got this match. That's number three. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Goldstein is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Cameron. Cunnington plays it off by hand. A rowback. Time to emphasize there are no secrets to a handball. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Davis can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Poor with the kick. Strong mark there. Puts boot to ball. It's a mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Buckley going for number one. Just fell through. That's two in a row for Greater Western Sydney. Greater Western Sydney increasing the lead to four goals. Cameron without a touch. The clearance by Goldstein. Anderson dodging for no reason at all. Whack. Have that, mate. Davies Uniaki. Puts the ball in the hands of fate. Coniglio passes. Delidio, a massive kick off the boot. Tomlinson with the mark. Kicks it. Brown marks it. Jams it on the boot. Nice mark under pressure. Stabs the ball. A mark by Roback. Look, the Kangaroos haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Anderson kicks it. Strong mark there. Cunnington puts his boot on it. Wood with the mark. Boots it. Wins the hard ball. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Jacobs shoots for goal. It's in the air. I can't believe it carried the distance. That's a great goal. Three goals and a fine display from Jacobs. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Good tap from Goldstein. The ball in the hands of Roback. Sockers the ball away. Simpkin picks up the loose ball. Williams guides it. Turner controls. They say hard work never killed anybody, but clearly North Melbourne are not willing to take that chance. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Giants and the Kangaroos? What's that? Finals? They shouldn't be talking about finals. You're kidding me, finals? They should be just hoping they can win a game. Another game. Enlightening, Richo. At the end of the game, the scores are the Giants, 79, the Kangaroos, 61. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend.